Hello IP students. Today our topic is plotting with pie plot and it is plotting with pie plot part second. In this lecture we are going to discuss about bar chart and scatter chart. In our previous lecture we discussed about line chart. So there are some few terms which are important to understand bar chart and scatter chart. First one is data visualization. Basically data re visualization refers to the graphical or visual representation of information or data. Matplotlib is a python library and it is used to draw different types of 2D graphics. Pyplot is a collection of methods within Matplotlib. So if you want to use or uh, if you want to draw different types of graphs such as line chart, bar chart or scatter chart just write import matplotlib.pyplot and uh, different types of charts are line chart first one is line chart line chart are basically is a collection of series of data points called marker and these are connected by a straight line segment so different points are connected by a straight line segments as given in this diagram second is bar chart bar chart represent categorical data with rectangular bars with height or length proportional to the value that they represent so there is a bar chart which represent favorite type of movies and uh, types of movies are comedy, action, romance, drama and sky fi y axis represent number of people like or watch uh, that particular type of movies so bar chart represent favorite type of movie information and uh, third one is scatter chart scatter chart is basically similar to the line chart but uh, it represents only data points in line charts we connect to different data points but in scatter chart there is no need to connect data points if we don't connect these data points we just get scatter chart so it get a scatter chart is basically a collection of different points and these points are not connected to each other in line chart these points are connected to each other so this is a basic difference between line chart and scatter chart uh, now in this lecture we are going to discuss about line chart and this scatter chart in detail so first of all there are some common terms which are very useful for line chart scatter chart and bar chart and uh, these are the different color codes given on the screen and these color codes used for all almost all charts B represent character B represent blue type of color, G represent green color, R represent red color, M magneta, Y yellow, K black, C and W. So these are the different types of character. You can use the character as well as color name. So in shortcut, if you want to represent these colors name and just write single character for different colors and if you forgot some color name or forgot some character name then or you can also write a color name so these are different color and uh, these are the line styles and uh, marker types of plottings line styles are not used in bar chart and scatter chart but the marker type of plotting are also used in bar chart as well as in scatter chart so different types of markers are there for example, D represent diamond type of market, diamond type of marker. This is diamond type of marker, and uh, S represent a square marker. So these are the different types of markers. Basically, circle marker, diamond marker, square marker, this uh, plus marker. These are the four important markers styles used for marker. Next. Uh, there is a small program to re which represent bar chart to plot a bar first of all this is very important we use a function name bar b a r this is a function name to draw a bar chart so and uh, the essential parameter to draw a bar chart are x and y x and y are the value along x axis and y axis so if you want to draw bar chart just write bar and uh, in parenthesis pass value x comma y now in this example this is program number one regarding to bar chart first line is import 
matplotlib pyplot as plt so we give alternative name to matplotlib dot pyplot and the name is plt so whenever you want to use matplotlib dot pyplot then we just write plt instead of matplotlib dot pyplot because it is an alternative name and then after dot fun dot and then after function name and there are uh, two list here uh, represented by class one and marks one so basically these represent the value of x and y so x and y are represented using a list here then this is a very important line we can see that plt dot bar here plt dot bar because plt is alternative name given to matplotlib library and uh, then bar is a function represent to represent bar chart then class 1 and mark 1 are the value of x and y and then label and then color so there are two additional argument here and then width is also given here so if you just write this class 1 and marks 1 only then bar chart is also drawn but uh, these are additional let us consider them one by one first of all this is the output here and uh, this is along x axis and this is L this is x axis and this is y axis so these are x axis and y axis now what have what are the different all of parameters here there is a plt dot x label so plt dot x label bar number we can easily see in the output that bar number are written here so basically it is the name of x axis and uh, plt dot y label this uh, bar height so this is uh, bar height is given here so this is the name of y axis that is bar height and uh, uh, plt title so this is another function name uh, and uh, in bracket there is given name in single quote epic graph and in output we can see that this is the title of the graph bar chart epic graph here and uh, then now come to the point plt dot bar class 1 and marks 1 are the value represented along x axis and uh, along y axis so now there is a label 2018 in graph we can see that at corner there is a representation of 2018 here so that is that is represented by label it is not uh, essential parameter it is optional you can if you want to ignore this then no problem at all to plot a graph second is uh, color you can draw a single color or uh, you can use a single color name or multiple color name here we can see that four color names are used red green yellow and blue so that's why red green yellow and blue these are the different colors used for this purpose used for, for this purpose and uh, this is width this is again a optional parameter and this is the width of different bars if we write just a single width suppose width is equal to 0 0.5 then the all bar have all bar have same width as 0 0.5 but there are four different width that's why four different widths are there for different graphs so this is all about uh, program to show bar chart in our previous example example number one we can see that there is only single width so as far as the difference is concerned between program one and program two in program one width is single that is 0 0.5 and in program number two width is 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 and 0 0.8 and we can see the easily the difference here width is uh, width of different bars are same and in this width of different bar chart 
bars are little bit different actually there is an increment of 0.5 here so you can see the increment as compared to first and last you can easily see that and if you can minutely observe then you can also find that there is a difference of width of these two bars also and between green and yellow and between red and green also so there is also there is an increment of 0.5 width so in program number one program number one is basically similar to that of the program number two but the only difference is width is same and uh, and program number two width are different for different bars rest portion are same when we compare program number one and program number two and uh, when we take only color single color then all co all bars uh, all bars uh, bar uh, are of same colors here yeah. then um, suppose if we just mention color is equal to red or color equal to r then all bar of all bar are of red color and by default color is blue if you don't mention any type of color then uh, by default color is blue so i think now this is and that plt legend there is another parameter this basically represent the mark sign on top of the corner so it is also an optional parameter you can avoid so basically there are two essential parameters x and y and if you want to pass label then label will be mentioned and uh, if you want to pass different colors as a parameter then uh, bar bars of bars have different color when you pass different colors as a parameter and width it is also an optional parameter if you don't give uh, width as a parameter then default width is also there and if you give, if you want to give different width for different bars then it is also possible and uh, this is the name of x axis x axis uh, name of x axis is given by x label name of y axis is given by y label and name of graph is given by title so these are the different functions and belongs to plt next uh, program number 3 this is program number 3 again in this program there are multiple bar chart so there are multiple bar chart so import matplotly uh, matplotlib dot pyplot as plt this is essential to write because uh, this is mandatory to plot a graph and then import numpy as np it is imported because numpy is imported here because uh, here we want to use arrange as a function you can see line number 4 there is a arrange function is used and there are value so there are there is a nested list and nested list contain three elements and uh, elements are represented by val 0 then val 1 and then vl2 then xp.np arrange so arrange uh, is a function is and uh, it arranges the values starting from 0 to 3 so there are four values 0 1 2 3 and then there are three different types of plots we can easily see that this is first one this is second and this is third and the function used for this purpose is bar so in first case x plus 0.00 value 0 and color is blue and width is 0.25 then plt bar x plus 0.25 then value 1 and color green with again 0.25 and uh, in third plt bar x plus 0.50 value 2 color red and width is equal to 0.25 so as far as width is concerned width is same and uh, three value are taken here because there are three values for vel this is vel0 this is vel1 and this is vel2 and then x x 
is taken from here and x plus different types of values are added in first one 0, 0.00 is added in second 0 0.25 and in third 0 0.50 and uh, different types of color for first one this is blue color this represent green color and this represent red color and then x label name of axis is bar number name of y label is bar height and name of title is epic graph so after the execution this graph this is the final answer so there are four values and why there are four values because we can see that um, we can see that the l1 vl2 vl3 vl1 vl0 vl1 or vl2 have all have four values so that's why there are different four group of four bars here and why there are three bars in a group because because there are only a three list so in this way we can easily find out multiple bar chart now come to the next point horizontal graph if you want to plot horizontal bar chart then it is also possible but there is a small correction we use a function b a r h so b r h is the name of function for uh, normal bar graph we just write b a r uh, if you want to put horizontal bar graph then just write b a r h rest thing are seen so let us take output this is the output since all things are same as is it that, that of previous one in example one program number one or program number two so in this graph horizontal bar graph is drawn after execution of that program next uh, two bar graphs uh, so this is again a program which represent two bar graph so it is a simple version of program number three this is class 1, marks 1, PLT bar represent first and PLT bar represent second bar graph. Class 1 and marks 1 are the value for x axis and y axis for PLT bar for this and uh, class 2 and marks 2 for second bar graph. And then uh, x level for x level used to represent name of x axis, y level represent uh, y label is used to uh, represent y axis epic graph is the name of the graph and uh, legend is again a function to show color at the top of the bar chart so for second color is green for first color is red for first label is 2018 and for second is label is 2019 let us check its output it is the output so this is the output and uh, these two color are represented using legend that's why we use legend so note it is very important point legend so there are two bar graphs so using this program we can easily draw two bar graph next uh, program to show bar chart x limp and y limp actually there are two functions x limp and y limp basically these represents x limit and y limit by default um, there are some x limit and y limit actually um, python calculate itself x limit and y limit according to the question but if you want to put x limit or y limit yourself then you, it is also possible and for this purpose just write x limp and y limp line number three you can also see that x limb and y limb so our graph start x axis start from uh, minus 2.0 up to 4.0 and y limit start from 1 and goes up to 50 
and uh, here we plot a simple graph between x and y no color no width is mentioned so all things all parameters are default only essential parameter x and y are given here and title of the graph is a simple bar chart and then plt show it is a very important function which show uh, bar chart without this there is no output appears on any screen so if you want to show the output just write plt.show uh, note that uh, print statement is not used as far as matplotlib library is concerned if you want to show the output just write plt.show at the end of the program without this there is no output at all so again this is mandatory file used this is numpy as np because here in this case we used np.arrange and it gives us four values 0 1 2 3 and uh, so there are four values for x and uh, five well there is four values for y which are given here 5 25 45 and 20 point is there because these all are the float values and then x lim and y lim gives the x limit and y limit x limit start from minus 2 uh, 2.0 and goes up to 4.0 y limit to start from 1 and goes up to 50 and there there is a plt dot bar x y it basically draw a bar chart and then title of the graph is a simple bar chart and after and finally plt dot show plt dot show basically gives us output so we can easily see that there is no bar chart here because here bar this graph is start from value minus 2 so this space is blank and uh, for and we can easily see that for uh, y well start from 1 and uh, in this output is start from 1 here you can easily see that this is minus 1 this is minus 2 so this is the representation of this graph and that is the name of title <clears throat> next is so this is all about bar chart now let us take a quick revision for all programs because there are so many programs which might confuse you so first of all there is a name function name bar which is used to represent bar chart and there are two essential parameter and these are x and y without using this you cannot able to draw a bar chart and uh, another parameters are label and color and width so to put up a heading just write label give different colors name just write a parameter color and for width there is a parameter width and then legend legend are basically used to represent color at the top of the corner and then x label represent name of x axis y label represent name of y axis and title gives the name of bar chart you can use different colors or different width it is your choice if you don't use different colors or different width it is also acceptable just write a single color or single width or always remember that if uh, there are four bar then uh, you don't uh, then you just give four different colors for this purpose and uh, for width there are four bars then write four width or a single width if you want just put a single width then it is applicable to all bar but if you give four width then e for each and every bar uh, there is a single assignment of values next is a multiple bar chart in this there are different types of multiple charts here we can easily see that and uh, we already discussed this program here using 
nested list and uh, this is horizontal to draw a horizontal bar just write d a r h this is the name of the function the rest thing are same as that of previous one and uh, finally two bar charts we want to put two bar charts then it is also possible there are two different colors for two different bar chart and in this program we just use bar function two times so there that's why there are two bar graph here and uh, x lim and y limit gives you x limit and y limit so it is by default if you don't mention it uh, so python calculate itself and gives us you uh, gives you a default values but uh, if you give x limit and y limit then uh, as just as as in this case we give x limit minus 2.0 to 4.0 it means values start for x axis from minus 2.0 and goes up to 4.0 and uh, this is similar for y axis also but the function name is little bit different and that is y lim means y limit and by default color is blue so this is all about bar chart now our final topic for today lecture is scattered chart as i told you the earlier that scattered chart or scatter plot is similar to the line chart but uh, there is a representation of only data points and uh, these data points are not connected to each other by a line segment and in this graph we can easily see that there are different data points here different data points here and these data points are not connected to each other so when there are points only inside a graph then this is a scatter chart which represents value of x axis and y axis next uh, again the definition is same but uh, there is a different representation of a scatter chart so a scatter plot is a diagram where each value in the data set is represented by a dot so there is a dot sign for represent representation of a single value now syntax to draw a scatter chart there is a function scatter we can also draw a scatter chart using line chart but uh, no need to mention line style but there are different functions here and the function name is scatter and the parameters are x y s c and marker s c and marker are optional parameters x and y represent the data position which is very important because when we want to put or uh, draw a point inside a graph so it need x coordinate and y coordinate so x and y are the essential parameters essential values required for a scatter chart and then s s is the marker size and by default it is points square and it is also a optional parameter then c is a name of color and marker is also optional markers style are same as that of line chart and it is already discussed in the beginning of in this lecture so let us draw a scatter chart so this is a program which used to uh, use used a scatter method to draw a scatter plot diagram first uh, line is scattered matplotlib.pyplot as plt so alternative name given to matplotlib.pyplot is plt and there are different values regarding x axis and y axis and these are represented in a list and uh, plt dot scatter x y so for different values of x there are different values of y just like that 5 is combined with 99 and there is a point for 5 and 99 and uh, similarly there is also a point for 6 and 86 so after the execution and then finally plt.show which is uh, important uh, which is an important function to show uh, graph here so this is the output different points are there we can easily count the different number of points one 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 two three four and these are the number of points as given 
in this graph in this list also next is program to show scatter chart now here three other parameters are used s c and marker so s represent the size c represent color and marker represent marker style and then x label represent name of x axis y label represent name of y axis arrange is a function given as given in numpy that's why numpy is used here it arranges the value bet, uh, between 1 and 20 and uh, y is equal to np dot log x so whatever be the value of x we get the y from function n log x so this is a small program and in this program if we summarize this program then uh, we can say that there is a there are two libraries matplotlib pyplot and numpy and the alternative name given to matplotlib library is plt and numpy alternative name given uh, to numpy is np then x is equal to np.arrange and numpy is used because arrange function is used here that's why x is equal to np.arrange and we get the value of x from arrange function and arrange function gets value from um, arrange function gets value uh, because there are three values passed inside arrange and these are 1 20 and 1.25 so values start from 1 goes up to 20 and there is increment of 1.25 and then uh, y value of y we get from function log x and uh, log is a function given in library numpy that's why np dot log x is here and then there is a scattered chart plt dot scatter plt dot scatter two essential parameters x and y are given here and then uh, s is equal to 12 which represent the size of the marker c is equal to m represent color magneta and uh, marker is d d represent diamond plt x label represent name of x axis and name of x axis is x and um, plt dot y label name of y axis is log x so plt show which finally show the output so this is the final answer you can see these are the different points these are the different points and uh, this is a scatter chart because these points are not connected to each other and they are single value represented by a single dot next uh, there is another program based on matplotlib.pyplot library there are two values x and y and uh, and plt dot is scattered x and y values are passed as a parameter there is also pass a parameter label and color is equal to k means black size 25 marker is o means circle type of marker name of x axis is label is x name of y axis is y and title is interesting graph and legion as i told you earlier dot show a color name at top of the graph and plt show finally show the output label represent label so there is a label skit cat that's why it is represented here skit cat and uh, marker is equal to um, now uh, let us take them one by one x y these are the value represented using x y coordinates next is uh, label skit cat and if it is represented here skit cat skit scat skit scat and then color color is equal to k k means black color so all points are marked with black color then s is equal to 25 this is the size of point then marker marker is equal to o o means circle type of marker marker so this is all these are the circles 
and then x level is uh, plt dot x level x so this is the name of x axis we can easily see that name of x axis is x here yeah, similarly name of y axis is y here name of y axis is y here so this is the name of y axis this is the name of y axis then uh, title title of the graph is title of the graph is interesting graph check it out slash n means next line so this is the title interesting graph check it out and these represent this statement is represent using two lines because slash n is there slash n basically break the line so first line contain the element interesting graph and second line contain check it out then uh, plt legend so this is the color name plt this is the different types of colors mentioned at top of the graph which are represented using legend and uh, finally show using show you can easily show the output without show you can not able to show the output of the program so this is all about bar chart and scatter chart i hope you like this video